Japan, Golden Week is a collection of national holidays that's usually a week long. Because of this, it is one of the busiest and most crowded week for domestic travel. As for me, this year's Golden Week, I will be visiting two prefectures, Fukushima and Yamagata. Both are found in the Toku region of Japan. From my place, it will take 5 hours of travel by car to Fukushima. So I'm just gonna tell you some Fukushima facts while I'm driving. Fukushima Prefecture is the third largest prefecture of Japan, next to Hokkaido and Iwate Prefecture. It is located in the northern part of Japan known as Tohoku region, along with Aomori, Akita, Iwate, Miyagi, and Yamagata. Its largest city is Iwaki but the capital is Fukushima City where I will be staying for this trip. Fukushima made headlines all over the world last 2011 when a massive earthquake caused a nuclear accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. The incident forced tens of thousands of residents to evacuate. Today, the no-entry zone around the nuclear plant makes up less than 3% of the prefecture's area. Needless to say, Fukushima is perfectly safe for tourists to visit. Fukushima, Japan's third largest prefecture, offers an ample of natural beauty, leisure activities, and historic sites like this one, Ochijuku. Nestled in the southwestern mountains of Fukushima, this isolated village used to be a stopover for travelers during the Edo period. Today, this little town is restored to look as it did in the Edo period. Even telephone and electricity wires are buried underground. The unpaved main street is lined by thick thatched roof buildings that houses different shops, restaurants, and traditional Japanese inns. This used to be the main inn that serves high-ranking officials, and now it's open as a museum. Located at the end of the street is a steep stairs leading to Ochijuku Shrine. From this hill, the view of the whole village can be seen and it's a perfect spot for picture taking. The whole area itself is not so big and actually can be explored in less than 30 minutes. Before leaving, I tried one of the local delicacies which is called nagisaba where you use leek instead of chopstick for eating. Of course, don't forget to buy snacks and souvenirs! Next in my itinerary is the city of Aizukawamatsu where the Turuga Castle is located. Turuga Castle was built in 1384 but was destroyed during the Boshin War in 1868. The castle was rebuilt as a concrete reconstruction with the color of the roof tiles reverted from gray to original red a unique color among Japanese castles. As with any other restored castle in Japan, the inside of the Tsuruga Castle now serves as a museum with a great panoramic view at the top. Outside, it is a lovely and a photogenic castle. 
The white walls and the red tiles give the castle a unique look. The park has well-tended lawns and cherry trees, which are particularly attractive when they are in bloom around mid-April. The surrounding moat and stone walls, which previously served defensive purposes, now contribute to the pleasant atmosphere of the park. Four kilometers from the castle is the Mount Imori, home to the tragic tale of the Byakutai warriors where 19 young men of the Byakutai or White Tiger Brigade committed ritual suicide during the Boshin Civil War in 1868. You can climb the 183 steps up the top or like me, who already driven more than 5 hours, pay a fee for an escalator ride. The unique Sasaedo temple is also located here. From the outside, this pagoda-like temple seems much like any other. But when you enter, you will discover its unique two sets of spiral stairways. There are no floors, so it's one continuous walk up and then down. From Aizukawamatsu, it is still an hour drive to Fukushima City where I will be staying. Before checking into my hotel, I'm gonna try this local tonkatsu restaurant for dinner. They have delicious crunchy katsu at a reasonable price. The place is nicely decorated with a beautiful mini garden.
and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times As for today's forecast, it's going to rain all day And there goes my plans We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right the future is bright oh. Because of this unfavorable weather, I'm just gonna visit the Fukushima Prefectural Museum of Art and just right next to it, the Prefectural Library. Even in the hard times, you and I can weather any storm Before I sleep Hear the crickets, see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right Today's itinerary will bring us up to the top of Mount Azuma Kofuji, down to the lakes of Goshikinuma, and travel back to the time of the samurais. To get to Azuma Kofuji is via the Bandai Azuma Skyline, one of Japan's most spectacular mountain roads. After all the twists and turns, I arrived in Jodadaira Rest House, where there are restaurants and souvenir shops. There is also a mini museum showcasing the topography of the surrounding mountains. almost over so I was not expecting the temperature to be this cold. It's just a 10 minutes climb to the crater and the views from the top are breathtaking. My clips does not do the depth of the crater justice. It looks way deeper in real life. The crater itself can be circled in a panoramic 45 minutes walk. But as for me, I'm literally shaking from the cold, so I'm heading back down for now. My 
next stop takes me to the Goshi Kinuma Ponds, a group of lakes with colors ranging from emerald green to turquoise blue. The largest and most accessible of these lakes is the Bishimon Numa Pond. Some of the best nature I've seen and the emerald green water makes for a chilean feeling. It's lunch time, and this restaurant I came across is just what I'm looking for. It's an American themed burger joint. The American sized burger they serve here is mouth watering. Cool ambience overall. Off to the road again, this time on my way to Nishinkan. This used to be the highest level of learning institution of its time. Although the original nation can was burned down during the Boshin War, it was faithfully rebuilt to their original design and now functions as a hands-on museum. You can also try traditional Japanese archery, which I did, but horribly failed. It was still a great experience. That's the end of the first part of my 2022 Golden Week vacation, where I visited some of the most scenic spots here in Fukushima Prefecture. It was great, exhausting, but fun. As for the second part, 
I will be exploring the neighboring prefecture, Yamagata. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. I'm Giselle, and join me again next time as we go see Japan! Yeah.